Hi guys, welcome to SA Technical. In this tutorial, I will be showing you how to fix computer not booting after BIOS update. Basically, this may occur due to external peripherals like printer, scanner, USB media, hard drive, and optical media. Number two, sometimes it can be caused by faulty hard drives. Number three, this error most often occur due to misconfigured BIOS. And number four, this much more rarely occurred if the motherboard BIOS has become corrupted. However, here are some possible fixes that can surely help to fix the problem. So let's take a closer look at the procedure. Try to disconnect any external peripherals that are causing the no boot. Because sometimes an external device may wrongly detect as primary boot priority ordered by BIOS, which does not contain an operating system. Ok, at first go to BIOS. Try to manually select a primary boot priority order like boot disk, HDD or SSD or Windows Default Boot Manager or a Secure Boot Executable or a particular external boot device which will help to directly and securely boot from that. After that, just save configuration changes and exit from BIOS Setup Utility. After that, hopefully your problem will be solved. If this caused by connection between the motherboard and hard drive, then the pre-boot execution environment won't be able to communicate over a hard drive. To fix the problem, you need to follow some steps. You first need to make sure that the laptop has no electrical power and it's cool and stable. Turn off the computer by pressing and holding the power button. Unplug all the cables and external device from your computer. Now remove the main battery. If the laptop's main battery is inside your laptop, then find a small pinhole at the bottom side of your laptop. Once you found, insert a paper clip into the hole and gently press for 10 seconds to reset the battery. Now open the laptop's access panel or bottom panel to check the hard drive. After that, check the connection between motherboard and hard disk to confirm that if there is a solid connection between motherboard and hard disk. If you are lucky, then this simple method may help to solve this problem. If not solved, then you need to check the hard drive is actually working or not. Connect your hard drive with another computer by using a USB 3.0 adapter cable for setup and for IT HDD drive. If you see the same error, that's means something wrong with your hard disk and it's time to replace your faulty hard disk. After that, hopefully your problem will be solved.
when you face the boot selection fail related issues then resetting the BIOS also helps in solving the problem. At first, restart your computer by pressing Ctrl, Alt and Delete key combination and press F2 or Delete key repeatedly to enter your PC's BIOS. Now press F9 key to reset the BIOS. The BIOS key may be different in your case, so please check the BIOS item specific information for more details. Once done, press F10 or go to Exit tab to save configuration changes and exit from BIOS. After that, hopefully your problem will be solved. If the BIOS key does not respond, then performing a hard reset also helps in solving the problem. Please note, before performing this repair with your computer, perform this repair at your own responsibility. You first need to make sure that your computer has no electrical power and is cool and stable. Turn off your computer by pressing and hold down the power button. Unplug the AC power cable from electrical outlet. Disconnect any other cabling including an Ethernet cable. After that, turn the laptop's bottom side up. Now remove the main battery. If your laptop's main battery inside your laptop, then find a small pin hole at the bottom side of your laptop. Insert a paper clip into that hole and gently press for 10 seconds to reset the battery. After that, carefully unscrew all the screws on the bottom panel. Remove the laptop's bottom cover. Now remove the main battery. After that, locate the CMOS coin cell battery. Generally, the CMOS battery is located right side in the center of the motherboard. However, looks very carefully both sides of the motherboard to find the CMOS battery.
Okay, once we found, carefully and gently remove the battery. Now leave your computer for 30 minutes and please do nothing. After 30 minutes, reconnect the CMOS battery. Once done, gently assemble your computer and please do everything very gently and very carefully. After that, reattach the power cable. Leave your computer for another 30 minutes. After 30 minutes, simply press the power button to turn on your system. After that, hopefully your problem will be solved. So I hope this simple guide was helpful for you. If you have any question or need any advanced guide, then please let us know. Please like, comment and share. We need your support and guys please don't forget to subscribe our channel. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.